Let's talk about these creatures for a minute. I'm talking about the gray aliens, extraterrestrials, or extra dimensional beings. If you've never gone down the rabbit hole of what these things might be, especially biblically, then you definitely need to watch this. Hey, my name is Cub. I explore the supernatural every single day through faith, spirituality, and the realms of paranormal. If you dig that, give me a follow and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Now, there are many ancient texts that talk about the hierarchy or the order of the universe, but none of them are, in my opinion, as noteworthy as the Hermetica and the way it lays out the mind of God and then the cosmos being a shadow of the mind of God and the cosmos actually producing time, which is a trap for humanity. This time trap, however, can actually be broken according to the Hermetica as well as other ancient texts, and I'm going to tell you how. You see, in the Bible, specifically the book of Genesis, the Elohim create humanity. Now, that word Elohim is a plural word meaning the gods. Yes, that's actually what it means. You can go look it up in Strong's, and then you can read the original Sumerian mythologies that the Old Testament was largely derived from. And when we understand this time trap and how and why humanity was created, we understand what the God of this world is and what the gods or the Elohim or Anunnaki actually may be. And yes, I'm talking about multi-dimensional purveyors and monitors of our physical universe, keeping the veil sealed shut between their realm and our realm. However, according to the Hermetica, we can break this because it says Atum, which is the spirit of God, not an Elohim, but rather a disembodied spirit says that that spirit creates the mind of the cosmos and the mind of the cosmos creates the cosmos and the cosmos creates time. So if we want to break and transcend time, we have to connect with the mind of God. The only way to do that is to bring the two into one, the divine feminine and the divine masculine and become one with God. How do we actually do that? Again, I've shared in other videos through the concept of gnosis. It is direct knowing of God. 